Prince William and Kate were once so upset after Prince George was trolled expert claim. Prince William and Kate were so upset after Prince George was trolled during an England football match, it was claimed. The Duke of Cambridge made a surprising statement today as he and Kate brought their Caribbean tour to an end. Prince William said he may not head the Commonwealth one day as he addressed criticism of the royal family in the Caribbean over links to the slave trade. He said he was committed to service, which involved not telling people what to do. William added, tours such as this reaffirm our desire to serve the people of the Commonwealth and to listen to communities around the world. Who the Commonwealth chooses to lead its family in the future isn't what is on my mind. What matters to us is the potential the Commonwealth family has to create a better future for the people who form it, and our commitment to serve and support as best we can. William and Kate have become more senior royals in recent years, meaning they are regularly in the spotlight. While many supporters of the royal family express their admiration for the couple, at times the spotlight leads to tougher moments. One example was following the final of the Euros last summer, which the Cambridges attended with their son Prince George. George was the subject of online trolling on social media, and royal expert Angela Levin said William and Kate were likely to have been upset by it. Speaking on True Royal TV, she said, they've been so upset by the rudeness of people mocking a little boy. I hope they can overcome that. William and Kate have three children. Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The Duke has previously opened up dilemmas he and Kate have faced as parents. This included in November 2018, when the Duke opened up about a tough his children's internet use. William spoke about the subject while making a speech at the BBC to mark anti-bullying week. During the speech, he said, we still haven't worked out what the right balance is for online time. It's quite difficult, it's still a very fluid dynamic. We're going to have that discussion with our family, how on earth are we going to the police and have family time when the phones are all put down and you're offline? Because we're also connected now that we've got to say for instance, right, we're eating now. William continued, this generation is going to be the first generation to grow up fully immersed in mobile phones, social media, lots of stuff. And yet our generation, the older generation, the parent generation, we're completely left at, how do we deal this? Where do we go to? Where do you learn about how to look after your children's digital world? On the same day, Prince William also gave a passionate anti-cyberbullying speech in which he attacked social media and tech companies. The father of three admitted that social media companies had done more to connect the world than has ever been achieved in human history. But went on to add, I am worried, though, that our technology companies still have a great deal to learn about the responsibilities that come with their significant power. Royal expert Katie Nichol once claimed that Kate has confided in the Queen over parenting issues. During the True Royalty documentary Kate Middleton, Ere We Go Again, Ems Nichol said, Kate was having a conversation with the Queen in which she confided that she had found being with George on her own and not having a full-time nanny or a maternity nurse, very hard. William and Kate wanted to be hands-on parents, and they did it until September and then they recruited a nanny.
The true royalty documentary Kate Middleton, Here We Go Again, as Nichols said, Kate was having a conversation with the Queen in which she confided that she had found being with George on her own, and not having a full-time nanny or a maternity nurse, very hard. William and Kate wanted to be hands-on parents, and they did it until September and then they recruited a nanny.